hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video i thought it would be fun to make a what i eat in a day video i start my morning with drinking some water because i'm always really thirsty in the morning and this water bottle is pretty big and it can fit one liter so i refill it a few times throughout the day to make sure that i drink enough water then it's time for some breakfast and i usually keep my breakfast pretty simple with just a cup of black tea and my current favorite tea right now is this vanilla one and I just add in some honey and a little bit of almond milk into my tea I'm now making myself a bagel and on this I usually just put some vegan cream cheese on and then I'm also pouring myself a glass of juice I'm not a coffee drinker, so I get my energy from the juice instead. I usually eat my breakfast on the couch and watching some Netflix and I'm currently re-watching Jane the Virgin. And I'm just having a really nice and slow start to my morning and catching up on social media and talking to my family. I also take my vitamins in the morning with breakfast to make sure that I get all the vitamins and supplements that I need. This morning I went out for a little walk because the weather was not so cold and uh, I just needed to get some energy. So I bundled up and went out for a 30 minute walk. I did talk to my grandma during this walk and it was really nice catching up with her. We're all building bridges slowly, tearing them down fast to start over. When I came back home, I was craving a little fruit snack, so I did cut up this mango and I also made myself some cucumber and lime water. Start over. The past can start over. Now it's time for some lunch and today I went for some classic oatmeal. I usually add in one deciliter of oats, one tablespoon of chia seeds and also some cinnamon because both the cinnamon and the chia seeds are really good for your stomach. And then I top it off with two deciliters of almond milk. For the topping, I decided to go with some strawberries and we only had frozen strawberries at home so I put these into the microwave to make them a little softer so I could just mash them up with a fork and pour on top of my oatmeal. I 
else added some cashew nuts on top of my oatmeal and went in with a little bit of almond milk on top and also a little drizzle of honey. For a snack, I poured myself some honey drizzled or honey covered peanuts and had a few of them in the afternoon. For dinner today, I wanted to make some quesadillas. Me and my best friend have the best recipe ever. It's not a classic quesadilla recipe, it's more like a stuffed quesadilla. Since I'm a vegetarian and don't eat meat, I use these meatless corn pieces as a substitute for meat. And then I go ahead and chop up some bell peppers. Emotionless in this world of stories, oh, like stone. I also add in some pineapple chunks into this recipe. Normally I'm not a person who likes pineapple in my food, but in this recipe is really, really good. If you're having doubts like I did in the beginning, just give it a try and see if you like it or not. You might be surprised like me. I'm just mixing everything together, making sure that everything is soft. I do like to keep the bell pepper a little al dente, so it's a little crunchy on the inside. Then I go in with this fajita spice mix. You can use some taco mix too, it doesn't really matter. And I also add in a little bit of water just to mix everything up a little easier. It's just the way it is. Now it's time to make the guacamole, so I just chop up a avocado and I had some mini ones as well that needed to be eaten, so I used them in this as well. Now I'm chopping up some red onion and some cherry tomatoes to add into the avocado mix. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo, give up everything that I own. I mix everything together and I add in some salt and some lime. With you somehow, unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a garden. I add some oil into the pan, put in a tortilla bread, and add in some grated cheese on one half of the tortilla bread. August, and I've come out here to say. Then I go ahead and add some of the corn filling on top of that grated cheese. Ooh, you, ooh, ooh. And I finish it off with adding some more grated cheese on top of the corn and then folding the tortilla bread. Hold you in my arms, won't let go. The world around can pass us by, thunderstorm a lightning strike as we hold each other. I let it sit like that for a few minutes and then I flip it over to make sure that I fry the other side of the quesadilla as well. And then I just go ahead and do this for however many we want to eat. Today we both wanted to have two each because they are pretty filling since there's cheese in there but also because it's protein and some veggies. I've come out here to say
Then I just add some of the guacamole on top of the quesadillas and you can eat this with knife and fork but we just usually eat it with our hands because it's easier. And this is so, so good. If you try it, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And also let me know if you liked it with the pineapples or not. Later in the evening, I was craving some tea, so I lit up a candle, poured myself a cup of tea, and had a little cozy time in bed reading a book. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video next Sunday.